Hey folks, this is Decoherent, and welcome back to RimWorld. So, a couple things we've got going on today. Let me start with the bad news. Nutrient paste. Yeah, this is all the nutrition that we have, and 300 of that is bug meat. So, yeah, that's not going to work out. So, I actually have a little zone over here just for the insect meat. I'm going to let the animals eat it. Um, I don't really have anything else to do with it at the moment. We don't have biofuel refinery yet, and that is a step or two away. So, nah, there's that. Um, we are going to make a comms console. I'm knocking a bunch of the stuff out, um, so it's going to go up here. You may be looking at these dots thinking, hey, what's up with all those dots, Deco? Those look like regular sized bedrooms. Uh-huh. Everyone's getting a 4 by 3 bedroom. Yay! Hooray for them. Um, this will just accommodate the people I have. I may end up lopping two more of these off, and then we're just going to keep expanding down this way with the dormitory. Um, I'm going to switch the entrance to over here. Right? Right, and there's some like granite down here that I hadn't claimed, so I figured, oh, you know, you know, you just use some of that. That should be pretty good. Um, let's see here. Yeah, we're gonna need to research hydroponics fairly soon. The problem is, is that requires just a ton of labor, given that like you really are wasting your time if you're not using rice. But then that just absorbs all of one person. So maybe we'll see. I don't have time for that at the moment. We only have four columns. We should have five because I should have captured and then converted that lady with the 14 intelligence so yeah oh well so one bit of oddness since you are formerly what an imperial or something you have a death acidifier which melts down all of your gear if you die so that's kind of interesting i would rather take that out um apparently i can but i need fairly high medical so well i i definitely want to do it but Maybe not quite at this instant, given that we don't even have a hospital. We don't have anything like that. We just, like, toss you on the ground and pff, throw some bandages at you. We don't know what's going on. I don't know any medicine. And then, let's see here. Ah, yes, today we're switching tracks slightly. I want to get our mechanators running here, because we could use some robots to help us out with this stuff. It was really hard to decide who was going to be mechanators. But really, since you need crafting to keep things going, it's just going to have to be Hawk. Because everybody else is pretty bad at crafting. Um, I really don't want Virto on anything else, given that, you know, nasty 65% um, work debuff multiplier or whatever. So I think that's what we're going to have to do. And Virto, by the way, is up to 95% research speed. Yay! So that's pretty cool. And I think that's about it. Yeah, we are going to starve pretty quick here. Like, this is not even going to be like a contest. This should be very interesting. I did let this uh, area get planted out here, so hopefully that will help a little bit. Yep, eat your meals. They've both already been converted over to our ideology. So all we have to do now is make them join us. Oh, yeah, I forgot about those little guys. Now oh, whatever, we've got plenty to do in here at the moment. Oh, um... Um, here, suspend meals. Oh, this is not going to be... This is not going to make anyone any friends. Switching over like this. Okay, I guess I actually need... Those two deconstructed. So that we can get in here. Oh, okay. Guess that wasn't necessary. Never mind. We'll take out these doorways, though. We don't need them. Dude! Stop making meals, I'm sorry. I know that means that all of a sudden we don't have any actual food source, but it does. It just is what it has to be. You know, it do. And we don't have enough steel in here. Crap. That's what I thought. All right, well, how many vision mice are still out there? Hmm, not many. Let's just grab everybody and let's just go knock them out. It is pretty funny how they explode into separate fission mice too. Wait till everyone gets down here. Kevin is the one who needs a better gun. And Arjun, you have something safe, right? Yeah, okay. Um, Hawk, I need you to move this, please. Okay. And then we'll just have this held open. And let's head outside. This should be entertaining. See if we can show how they double. It's pretty awesome. Or, or triple, I think, maybe. Did you see that one? 
but they get dumber and like worse with every generation. I don't, I don't, I, I can't, I can't even like attack them in a melee way. You want a sad wonder right now? Instead of helping your friends? Wow. At least you're willing to attack the bugs, or the bugs, the uh, little guys that are coming after you. Okay, well, are you guys hostile? Right, you're just, you're just hanging out. As long as you're not hostile, I don't care. Yeah, that's actually it. So, good job, team. Man, it's too bad they're all gross. I try not to, I, like, there's always that button that's like, allow everything. It's like, no, some of the things that I have unallowed or on purpose. Okay, you're gonna get the dromedary. Yeah, we need some steel. We have eight mils. And I won't let anyone go any further than that. Are you at least okay, Hawk? Like, did you get a bite or something? Nah, you'll be fine. Are you using... <sighs> okay. Whatever. There's gonna be a reason we don't have like any medicine at all. Oh, you brought me back some steel. Thank you. And not the dromedary. Okay. How about you come get this? No empty accessible spot. Oh, my whole zone disappeared. <laughs> Whoops. Um, this can just be for corpses. Crap. Um, no rotten. All animal corpses. And critical parity. Please come get this meat. Thank you. Somebody who's paying a little more attention maybe can get this. Aren't you like my second like forgetful person? This is gonna be such a hassle. At least you're not badly injured. So there's that. See the animals getting some work done. That's good. I appreciate it. Okay, we're back. I think it's extremely important for you to know that I just stopped and had a grilled cheese sandwich. It was awesome. Okay, anyway, so, have I ever showed you the fission mice? Maybe in this one? Um, these are usually called the mouse, although it has more traits in common with the banner-tailed kangaroo rat, such as a jumping bipedal locomotion. The fission mouse is yet another example of human genetic engineering gone terribly wrong. Presumably, the objective was to make the mice more useful as laboratory animals by increasing their resistance and longevity. The unexpected result is a sterile creature with neither attribute, but a really unexpected side effect. When they die, three duplicates are created, sharing all of the memories of its parents. Rapid success of fission events are also harmful to the creature itself. If less than a few years pass between events, the mouse eventually perishes, unable to sustain its life cycle. This one's third generation, so they get stupider and weaker. And apparently, no longer uh, manhunters, which is kind of cool. I don't mind just wandering around, I think they're kind of funny. I assume someone will take care of those. By that I mean one of our animals. They're good things like that. Okay. Well. Okay. I was really hoping to have enough steel handy that you guys wouldn't starve to death tonight, but it looks like it may be tomorrow. Comms console, yay! Everyone likes comms consoles. Meow, indeed. I mean, I should probably kill some of these. I don't know if I'm, like, eating my smoke leaf or anything like that. And Virto's gotten an infection. Well, that's not good. Um, we don't have a backup doctor. Well, we kind of do, actually. Arjun's not bad. I really need to get some of that medical research in. Mm. 
Yeah, that's not good. 58%, huh? Well, hmm. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Is it like dirty in here? No. All right. Well, I guess we'll see. It is difficult for me people to stress enough that what you need to be doing is mining. I cannot, I cannot possibly express that enough. We desperately, desperately need that steel that is somewhere. I thought there was some up here. Where did I flag it? Oh, over here. Okay. This is just of absolutely critical importance. Yeah, you go all things around. I'll make Hawk come down here and mine. Because if we can't get that nutrient paste grinder thing made, we are going to be in some trouble. Oh! Hi! Kavath? Kavath, Kavath? Mm, that won't be a problem at all. Not even slightly. I will have no trouble whatsoever keeping that straight. Okay. Welcome. And how are you? Scratch scar. Yep. Low expectations. Genetic pessimism. Um, attack. What should you have? You're actually not very good at anything. <laughs> um, let's see here. Let's give you the usuals. Oh, that's right. You're my miner. Yes. Miner and constructor. Yeah, something like that. Um, yeah. Just go ahead and just do that right now. That's very important. Okay, cool. And let's go ahead and let's give you the same schedule as everybody else. Which I just messed up. Copy, paste. There we go. Cool. Allow me to be the first to welcome you. Welcome. Oh great, you got food poisoning. Now that won't be a problem. Okay, people were out of food. Okay, we'll make a couple meals. Um, let's see here, a mechanoid swarm. Whereas we could get some stuff. Um... Nah. No. Not really. Okay, so, now, hold on buddy, before you get too carried away. Well, okay, make another meal or two, just so we can survive the morning. Yeah, since everyone's already throwing up all over. Guys, we need you over here. Come on, please. Don't eat that stuff. I have something better for you in just a second here. Hold on. Okay, here we go. You're gonna love this. A nutrient paste tap. Mmm, yum. Go build that. There we go. Perfect. Are these set to critical? Yeah, they are. That's why nothing's getting moved over. There we go. Now everything should be fine. <laughs> this is really awful up there. <laughs> There's still vomit under there, but okay. Okay. Oh, I'm so glad to have an actual miner. Oh, this is so good. And you're really good at it, too. These are good things, my friend. These are good things. Look at you go. What's your mining at? 13. Oh, yeah. Good. We can finally get some stuff built. Okay, and I don't want my animals to die, so they should be eating that. And I will make them a tap in just a moment here, too. Do I not have any power running over there? Huh. Apparently not. I know I did at one point, but obviously I don't anymore. And these batteries are connected, right? Yeah. Sad wonder. Yeah. Where are you at, buddy? Good news, we have food now. I mean, it's not good food.
What do you mean no storage connected? There we go. Mmm, delicious. Well, no, but it's better than absolutely nothing, which is what you're going to get otherwise. Ah, you people. All right, got a better weapon for you, Kevin. Oh, just as all of our power goes out. Okay. Um, heavy SMG. Just popped out right there, right? Yep. Oh, actually, new guy, you need a gun. Uh, well, we'll figure you out. I don't know. Do we have enough steel to make more solar panels? I think we do. Vagabonds desire, desire alms. They want 470... They want half my silver? Well, I could use the mood boost. <sighs> Probably. Because we are good guys. Yeah, hi. Believe me, I'm not happy to see you either. Okay. Well, you're welcome. Wow. That was quick. <laughs> oh, I'm going to enjoy trying to uh, keep you ahead of our resources. Just do that and we'll go from there. Tattered apparel? Who's? Oh, Kavith. Um, we'll figure it out in a few minutes. Don't worry about it right now. Survive a year. Oh, yeah. Well, my intel's about to go out of date. Well, that's no good. Can we get done with that? Come here. Okay. There we go. Hello. We can get quests. We can get plots. Oh, that's neat. What could we get? We could get... What can we get for two? <laughs> we can get some drinks. Wow, that stuff is expensive. Neuroformers are three of, like, the special intelligence. Okay. Well, what can I get from here? A bio decoder. What are you? Oh, it strips the bio coating off. Oh, cool. Huh. I don't know. Some medicine? Like, the stuff is about to go out of, you know, date, so... I... Oh, we have to have about one of the um uh beacons. <sighs> this storage area is just awful. It's just it's being it's become a real problem. Okay, let's try that again. Kevin. Okay, now can we buy stuff? Says we still don't have any intel. Is this something we like apply? Okay, it needs to be stored in physical form. Right. Oh, this is how long it would take us to get stuff, so our intel would expire before the stuff got to us. Well, that's too bad. Kinda wasted that intel, then. 
Ah, well. Okay, how are things going over here? Okay, so... Slowly starting to build some walls back up here. Oh yeah, I can't make granite. <laughs> Which makes perfect sense, of course. And if you guys could come... All these. Thank you. And actually, well, I've got a turbo miner. Let's go ahead and let's just make this bigger. Oh, not right there. Okay, so it's going to be a bit of a bottleneck no matter what. Hmm. Well, oh well. Oh, hey, you got a Psylink. Nifty. All right. I-beams are actually not one that I'm looking forward to. Like I said, it has a tendency to get people killed. Okay. Skip gate. Eh, why not? What's the worst that could happen? Oh, here we go. A tech printer installation. They're a huge environment as Okay. They're used by tech friars to replicate their knowledge on tech prints. Let's go back and actually read this here. Okay, so. We've received the news of a tech printer installation belonging to the Empire near our location. Tech printers are a huge environmental hazard and are used by tech friars to replicate their knowledge on tech prints. Tech eye discs used in the process are extremely toxic and flammable. We might be able to ignite a stack of these discs and see the inferno unfold. Protected by five people. Um, two palantone turrets are located at the installation. They are powerful anti-infantry weapons firing large caliber shells at incredible speeds, dealing heavy damage over significant ranges. Their ammo needs to be stored right next to them, and a precise shot might set off a chain reaction. We've also been informed the location is protected by a number of ground-mounted striker turrets. Despite the limited range, these turrets can easily reveal our approach and provide covering fire for the army. The two tech friars are certainly at the installation, killing them is not necessary. The tech printer installations protected by a number of surveillance pillars. They should not be approached and instead should be disabled from afar, easily by destroying them or cutting off their power. Once activated, they will greatly increase our visibility. The objective of this assignment is to destroy the tech printers by any means necessary. Once that's done, the award will arrive and we'll have to make our escape. Once we arrive at the installation, we can expect an Imperial response if our visibility is high enough. We will only have a limited amount of time to complete the mission. I like Intel. I never use those somehow. I would love this and I don't want that. Um, I don't know. And do we want a mechanoid thing here? See, the problem is, is these suck. I don't have any use for these things. So... Ugh, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Where is this? Well, we have to go with this stuff too, I forgot about that. Okay, but where is... There's an abandoned lab, yeah. Where did that quest... Do we just not know where it is yet? Huh. Okay, well, whatever. Well, what I really want to do is get vehicles done. Was my hope. You know, so that... We would be able to travel places faster. Because that would be pretty cool. And we are just about caught up here. This is real good. And I'm just going to close this back wall off, obviously. And I've got the bedrooms all put together. Never mind. Go do whatever it is you're going to do with it. Sorry. Okay. So this looks good. Well, ish. You know what I mean. This looks functional. All right, let's get our last set of floors in here. Storage hasn't gotten any better. <laughs> we have a whole bunch of camel hide, so I guess that's good. Things are finally growing again. Good, good. Why is that not inside the light? Nope, it is not. 
Okay. Oh well. I can probably take the ceiling off this now. Soon. I mean, it's already, like, I have everything set up already where it's fine the way it is. So, it's like, you know, whatever. Oh, that's right. I need to put two of you in one of these. Sorry. I made a poor quality insect chitin leather thing. So that's kind of cool. There's so many prisoners. <sighs> like, I'd like to, but I don't know. Our team kind of sucks. How about we wait until we get one more person? And then we'll go from there, okay? How's that for a plan? They don't buy it. Neither do you guys. I can hear it in the tone of your imaginary voices. Which is creepier than I made it sound. Or more creepy than... Never mind. It's been a long day. <laughs> and there we go. Just like that. Welcome, Mitch. So, what's your deal? Um, are you an actual melee? You're a cannibal. That's going to be a little bit of trouble. But you can fire a weapon, and that's important. And you're good at plants. That's very important. Good. I need to hawk off plants, like, entirely. It just, it just can't be done at this point. I just have too many other things for hawk to do. I don't have any kids, so I'm just putting that all up and everybody... Oh, finish off. I'm like, I thought that that was like improving the quality of stuff or whatever. No, no, no. That's not what it meant at all. Um, yeah, do, do something, I guess. This doesn't have to be for prisoners anymore. Be for colonists. It could be for guests. Oh, for guests. Ha, just kidding. Just kidding. Mm hmm okay, good. Okay, well, I tell you what. Wow, today has been going pretty well. Actually, before we quit, let me just finish this up here. We're so close. I can feel it. And now we are safe inside. Let's take off this planning and let's just take a look at this. <gasps> look at this, it's glorious, except for the fact that I don't have anything to hide behind besides, like, some rocks. And we need more guns. Like, several more guns. At least one, maybe two. Yeah. And it's disgusting and bloody and gross. And we're all eating, eating uh, insect meat. So, pretty much par for the course. But I am actually pleased with this. And so, let's take that break. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.